Hi everyone. I welcome you all to the live session on how to become a UI UX designer. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from us. UX has recently become very popular and very important like one of the integrated part of the whole life cycle of product development. Earlier, if you remember, you know, I don't know whether the uh, if you have some experience in this field, usually the whole software development was the the brainchild of the engineers who are uh, you know especially those are programmers and coders they gather the information and they create a, a, a software which is actually feature rich and that's how the product were created but now the scenario has changed the the world has become more competitive uh, online transaction has become very very important uh, so the competitive product become a, a norms of the day right now. So that's why we wanted to create a product which is user friendly, and that's how UX come into the practice. Let's understand this terms UX. Uh, if you look at uh, this uh, screen, uh, you will see that. Uh, let's talk about what is UX. So user experience, which can be termed as UX, UXD, UED, or XD, is the process of enhancing user satisfaction with the product by improving the usability and its products accessibility and pleasure the happiness working with that product that is the crux of the ux design that it should make the user satisfied with the task the user is doing by using that product so the productivity satisfaction and accessibility that is the part of ux design ux design is not just a better UI design, UX is much broader actually. So UX actually, it is more to, you know, it make facilitate the people to, to do their task happily and more effectively. That's the UX. Let's understand the difference between UI and UX. UI, if you look at it is, it is a particular skill, like it, it just, you know, limited to creating interface design or visual design. That is UI actually, user interface. Whereas if you look at the UX, it is a little broader in term, you know. The, all these activities, if you look at the right side, it contains, UX contain all these activities. Like it, it, it starts with field study, field research. Now what we mean by field research is we are going out of our office and talking to the real user, understanding their pain point, uh, you know so so that is called field research and this is not only up to the users only we are also studying trying to understand the competitor also so field research interviews interviews of the user creating personas uh, we will make uh, you know i'll explain what is persona or other things creating persona interaction design information architect usability then creating the prototype creating the interface design and even the visual and design also comes under UX, you know. So these are the all the activity which makes UX different from UI. UI is a limited activity, whereas UX is a broader thing. So the outcome of UI, if you will see, are the screen designed, whereas the outcome of the UX is much broader, where we are just right on the, you know, we will create a solution out of it. That's what the outcome of the UX. Let's go to the next page. Let's understand in simple formation, simple word, what is UX uh, and UI. See, if you look at the left side, you will see this pieces of the thing which we are using in daily basis or maybe in a restaurant, like a cup of saucer or a, or a chair or table. So these can be considered as UI element, where if you look at the right side, you will see that this is the whole experience. It is not just the table and chair or the coffee, even not coffee alone, but how soon the coffee is coming, what kind of taste coffee is having, how the waiter is talking to you. I mean, and the brand you are seeing that, which, which gives you a trust that you are getting a good coffee. The air conditioning inside, you know, all those things all included together is considered as user experience. Whereas on the left side, the small, small things are the user interface, that is UI. So that's the difference between UI and UX. If we look in the thumb of the software, you will see that on the left side, whatever we are creating small, small element, 
those are ui elements but if you look at the right side you will see the whole screen which not only have these element on the left side like switchers or button or everything but it is also having many other thing the way it is written the language it is used the how quickly the user can perform a task you know how quickly he they can understand what what are the things available to them all those things given on a screen or the whole task flow with the help of the bunch of these screens are called the ux experience in software let's understand what are the renowned people are talking about what they understand by ux so californian based this uh, jesse james garrett says that experience is not just should not be just experience experience help us to accomplish something so that is the user experience the user experience created should help to complete a task that is ux let's understand a one more terms which is very much associated with design ux is design thinking so design thinking is nothing but it's an approach to create a better user experience it is a tool it is a method which we use to understand our user and use the methodology to create solution uh, which is working for the for the users so this is so all the experience or the methodology we use the designer use is around the people the user of this product which could be uh, on the basis of its the, the user's desire user's attitude or or the other thing which is regarding to the user let's understand the established way of design thinking stanford is the most prominent you know institution which came out with this term called design thinking and it is a well established term well you like well tested you know approach to a, a problem solving situation stanford has distributed this uh, whole design thinking exercise into five major part which is to start with empathize then second step is define ideate the third step fourth step is creating the prototype and then the fifth step is checking whether this prototype is working with the user or not so this is the simplest uh, you know approach to the overall design thinking in different steps this has been further improved by ibm design thinking they try to make it more simple like using the simpler word like understand like understand the user requirement then explore and then create prototype and then test it which is evaluate they have also added some more terminology in green hexagons you can see like hills or the sponsor user and playback like when we understand we define what we are going to do that is our hill and who are the sponsor user that also we need to decide and once the prototype is created it should be tested which is playback or evaluations so that's what ibm design thinking uh, modified this is further explained by this diagram here where you have a uh, you know explanation of each each of the thing like empathize what is empathize it is just putting your step into the shoes of the user try to understand their pain areas all those thing is called empathize once it is done when we define the whole scenario so in define phase we 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 understand the problem the competitor then we create personas we create scenario we do personal the competitor analysis as i just told all this thing is are done in define phase and on the basis of our defining a solution we create hills which is nothing but just the target like what we are trying to achieve out of this solution so so hills are defined the targets are defined then we ideate where we try you know brainstorming technique or the technique and we create ideas which is a idea generating technique actually which we come in the phase of ideate once ideation is done we create a prototype on the basis of that and that prototype is tested on the users so that's how the design thinking methodology works now let's understand one practical use case here which is hypothetical i mean it is not we are creating a whatsapp application but let's go like around 10 or 15 years back where whatsapp has not come in that situation and smartphone were new things at the time and what we wanted to create we wanted to have a very smart uh, chat application and in that application this application is to be created for the people uh, you know who are not tech savvy they do not know like how to create an account and add friends so the solution of whatsapp the success of whatsapp lied in 
creating something where user is not required to create account or friend so the hill in this case is if you look at it is ramesh can chat with his friends and his family without creating account or without adding friends to the application to to this app so that's the hill that's the goal that's the target of this of the solution creation of uh, this special problem of creating whatsapp or the chat program ideate like what is the idea in it use so when we do not have we cannot create the account how can we connect people how can we have an account so the the method was uh, utilize the ideation the solution uh, thought was like we can use sms or phone number instead of account and use uh, you know phone number or id to create an account or there is no uh, account creation it is automatically connected with the people so that's what the ideation phase of it so the sponsor viewer would validate the solution and and once it like this solution when it is thought it's it is discussed with the sponsor user like ramesh we discussed in the example and who would validate the solution whether it is working for him or not once the prototype is created it is run with the users many users and we check whether it is working properly or not or whatsapp kind of chat program will be run and we we see that there are some problems then we further improve it and then so on so this is the third step then the last step in this design thinking methodology is aligning like aligning means like the solution is also shown to the dive team to the business people and the user and see whether all these three people are on the same page on this solution okay so that's about design thinking so we discussed about two things the first thing is user experience what is ux and to to work on ux you need to understand what is design thinking so we just understood design thinking and its five steps there now let's talk about what ux designer does okay so the responsibility of ux designer varies actually according to the organization if it is a smaller organization the ux designer create user center design also create the flow wireframe prototype translate the requirement into style guide design system design ui element and input control navigation control or information so anyone who is trying to have career in ux design please see that this is what you are asked to do on your job where you will be paid for this kind of job creating original graphic design identifying and troubleshooting ux problem collaborating effectively with the product engineer and management team incorporating customer feedback and again making the product even better so that's what the ux designer does okay how to make career in ux and ui okay the first requirement is that you should have immense amount of interest in this field like creating solution or creativity that should be there inside you that is the willingness to work on this field is the first requirement and 50% work is done then let's look at the all this point for career creating a career into ux start reading up on ux there are a lot many subject available right now on on internet we have a very good uh, you know uh, website called idf maybe you may want to join it is a paid service you want to study that learn about the key ux design method and processes so i just uh, give a basic information about the methods and process like design thinking and uh, there are several other things which you need to study structure your learning with the creditable ux course hfi is there idf is there other courses are also the nancel normans are there maybe you can go and study there apply whatever you have learned into real real world so whatever you have learned you should use in your project in your job learn the tool of the trade that is also important the today's prototyping smartest tools available are figma sketch or there are many other balsamic or others so you, maybe you you want to learn those tools and build your ux portfolio definitely you need to have a portfolio of ux if you want to have a career in this field and last thing let's talk about how to get started if you are a fresh graduate and you have any inclination to pursue your career into ux field you need to look into these seven points understand all the design directions study the tool of work as i told figma photoshop uh, sketch all those tools start paying attention to design that's very important actually you need to give attention to the design 
and it requires a lot of focus unlike other subject or other kind of work surround yourself with design when we are talking about surround yourself with design you are surrounded with the projects related to design you are surrounded with the people who are who are designer so so that you can learn out of them watch and copy other no harm in copying other people you know the senior people watch them how what is their approach how they approach to you know, creating solution or deliverable so and then follow them find mentor it is very important that you, you should have a you know someone selected as your mentor so whenever you are stuck in somewhere you have someone where you can go and understand how can you come out of that situation so that is also very important and take some course and that way you can learn faster definitely course will help to understand thing faster so this is all about the uh, ux and ui career just a quick info guys IntelliPad provides UI UX design online course mentored by industry experts the course link of which is given in the description below